Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode on Forgotten Weapons. I'm Ian, I'm here today at the Rock Island Auction House taking a look at some of the guns that are coming up for sale in their February 2015 regional auction. And one that I've been kind of looking at for a long time myself that I noticed in the catalog here today is a broom handle Mauser, except this one was made in China and it's in 45 Auto. Uh, originally, a fairly small number of these, about 8,000, were manufactured at the Shansei Arsenal in China by Chinese nationalists between about 1929 and 1932. So really a very short time frame. Um, the nationalists had acquired a bunch of Thompson guns and 45 Auto was popular. And of course, broom handle Mausers were also popular. Part of the reason for this in China at the time was that international arms embargoes had severely limited the, the availability of actual rifles. The broom handle Mauser with a shoulder stock became a very popular weapon that was able to be legally sold in China by companies like Mauser and some of the Spanish concerns like uh, Astra and uh, oh, a couple others. Now, this obviously, you know, we had one guy in China who thought to himself, you know, this broom handle's cool and I like 45, so let's make a broom handle in 45. And that's what they did. They are significantly wider than a standard broom handle, but uh, actually about the same size otherwise. The, the length, the height, everything else is pretty similar. Let's go ahead and bring the camera back and take a little closer look in here. All right, now I mentioned that some of these were originally made in nationalist China in the 20s and early 30s. This particular one appears to be from a batch that were imported from China in the 1980s and most likely manufactured new there around that same time. There are quite a lot more of these in the country. They are actually available. And frankly, having one that's a little bit newer would make me a little more comfortable shooting it rather than a 80-year-old Chinese original gun. Uh, they do have some Chinese markings on them on both sides. These designate where they were made and the year and the caliber type of pistol. Uh, functionally, they're identical to a typical broom handle Mauser. We have a hammer back here. Short recoil action, so when you fire, the bolt and the barrel reciprocate just that much back, locked together. That then unlocks the bolt, which then travels back on its own. These will lock open on an empty magazine, as you can see. They do have a stripper clip guide. Uh, this particular one does come with a pair of 10 round stripper clips for 45 auto cartridges. Uh, if you don't have those, there are other clips that can be made to work more or less. All right, for comparison's sake, I grabbed a standard uh, German broom handle Mauser as well. See, this is Waffenfabrik Mauser, made in Germany. And it's interesting to note where they're similar and where they're different. You can see clearly the 45 is way wider than the standard German gun. However, if I lay the one on top of the other carefully, the actual frame size, pretty much the same. The length, given the same barrel length, is identical. The height, this direction, is the same. The magazine on the 45 is a little bit longer. Uh, but, for example, the trigger is in the same place. Handling-wise, the, the Chance 45 is, is quite a bit more front-heavy because it is so much wider up here. There's a lot more material, and it's all hanging out in front of the, the grip. So this is definitely a little bit more awkward to handle, although the grip is the exact same size as the German guns. Uh, it's interesting, normally the broom handle Mauser is, is quite the heavy piece of hardware, but picking this one up after the Chance makes it feel quite light. One of these days we'll do a shooting video with this broom handle, but being that we're at an auction here, it's a little tricky to get permission to take one out and shoot it from the consigner who is trying to sell it. So next time so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video I've got to take a look at a an interesting variant of the the c96 mauser that you don't see a whole lot of out there if you'd like to own this one yourself it is for sale of course at rock island there's a link to the catalog page in the description below you can take a look at that see their high-res pictures there are also a couple others of these in the catalog but i'll let you find those out yourself thanks for watching